Hello, and in today's video we're covering the difference between optical zoom and digital zoom, and why they are not the same when it comes to image quality. I wanted to do this because I've come across a number of people who don't understand why digitally zooming in doesn't improve the quality or reduce the ground sample distance, or GSD. If you need to understand more about GSD, you might want to check back on the video we put out on that previously, so I'll add links to that in the video. So first, let's discuss what the differences are, starting with optical zoom. Optical zoom is when you physically change a lens to zoom into a subject. By doing this, you're still using the full sensor, but the image being projected onto it covers a smaller area in the real world. Using the images of this tree, we can see that by physically changing the lenses, we get much closer to the subject without losing any quality in the results. Each time we zoom in using optical zoom, we get more detail and therefore a lower and better GSD. Assuming the only thing that changes is to use a longer lens to zoom in, then the image quality remains the same even though the GSD is getting smaller. So how does that differ from digital zoom? Essentially, digital zoom is like cropping an image in real time. When you digitally zoom in on your drone's fixed lens camera, you're not optically magnifying the subject. Instead, you're cropping into the center position of the image and stretching it to fill the frame. The result, a lower resolution image with less detail and more noise. No additional information is being captured. You're simply enlarging the pixels that are already there. And as such, the GSD is not improved by digitally zooming in. In fact, you could achieve exactly the same results by taking an image that was not digitally zoomed and then crop it in post. To show what this means practically, let's use a Mavic 3 Enterprise, which features both a wide angle lens and a seven times zoom lens. The wide angle lens has a fixed focal length and captures more pixels overall, making it great for capturing large areas in a single frame, such as when mapping. However, because it covers a wider area, the GSD at the same altitude is higher, meaning less detail per pixel compared to the zoom lens. On the other hand, the zoom lens on the Mavic 3 Enterprise has a much longer focal length, allowing you to magnify your subject optically. And this is great for things like inspecting a roof, since this reduces the GSD without needing to fly closer, which is especially useful for inspecting hard to reach or unsafe areas. But there's a catch. Because the zoom lens has a smaller sensor, this means it has fewer pixels compared to the wide angle lens. As such, zooming in seven times doesn't result in a seven times better GSD. If you need more detail on that, go back to the GSD video where we cover the calculations necessary to calculate the GSD. When using the zoom lens, we have the option to zoom in even further. However, at this time, we're no longer using an optical zoom. We're now using a digital zoom. And so taking this image as an example, while we've only zoomed in an additional four times, seven times four equals 28, you can see that there is significantly less clarity in the image. Zooming digitally might be useful for trying to find something in the viewfinder, but it's not going to give you any improvement in image quality. So there you have it. If you need a lower GSD and can't fly lower, then an optical zoom would be a good option for you if it's available on your drone. However, digitally zooming is not going to improve your results, so you might as well just capture the wider image. Anyway, that's it for another video. As always, I love to hear from you, so feel free to leave your comments and questions, and I will see you in the next video.